gonna go ahead and uh, remove the accessories off of the old bumper. So we're gonna start off from one side and work our way around. So on this side, we're gonna take off this bracket right here. So it's gonna be a Phillips screwdriver. Another one right here. Next step is gonna go ahead and uh, get a flathead screwdriver and pry up on this area. Push it out, just like that. And the other side, push up, just like that. And this piece comes right off. Okay, next in line is gonna go ahead and take off the fog line. So we're gonna start off with taking off We're going to put a screwdriver, these screws right here. Right here. There you go. Back to the side. Then on the fog lock cover, I'm gonna go ahead and just push these prongs down. Push them down like this. Actually, there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six prongs holding this fog lock cover down. There you go. There you go. Fog light off. Now we're gonna take these sensors off. So basically, all you do is push down on the clips. Right down here, and pry them out. So we're gonna take off the turn signal, turn signal light right here. Be a flat screwdriver right here. Get a flathead screwdriver. If you haven't already removed this clip right here, remove that. All right. After you remove all those clips, go ahead and jimmy it out. Okay. I'm gonna remove this bracket right here. Get a flathead, go ahead and push this down right there. And push this down right here. Oh, that one broke. So that one's a little bit more fragile than I thought. I'm gonna get him a new bracket for this one. Alright, next in line is gonna be removing the grill. So we're gonna go ahead and same fill screwdriver. Let's go. Let's go. So there's going to be three pieces to this bumper. We're going to take the top one off first. So on this thing you can just pull up on it. Held down by these little clips right here, so if you got a flat head, that'll be easier too. On this side. Alright, okay. 
that off. So, all right, since we remove all those screws already, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take off the uh, lower grill first. But first, we've gotta take away the adhesion right here. So just get a sharp razor blade. It's stuck on by double stick tape. So just cut along carefully. Just like that. There you go. So keep this. We're going to use that for later. So same thing on the other side. Off this grill. So take off this grill, get a flat head right there, and basically, what you're gonna do is push down on these prongs right here. Best to start off on the corners, just like that, and lift. Then lift. Remember, how down you have this fog line, be careful with it, don't drop it. Go back on this side. We're gonna go ahead and remove this fog line right here too, so we can take off the whole front lower grill. And then again on this sensor, go ahead and push down on it. There you go. Alright, so to remove the middle grills so you can have a top and a middle grill same thing you're gonna come here with my head push down on this thing We have the lower portion taken off. Go to the middle. Push that off. All right. So the middle prongs right here, we're making it, getting it stuck right here. So once that is uh, actually popped up, you should be able to. There you go. There you go. That grill. Another one right here to hold this up. One other thing you need to save is this tow hook cover. All right, so we're done with this bumper. Everything that we need is, let's see, double check, everything off. That we need, nope. These little clips right here. So I just push it. a little harder but it's right there can be another one on the other side all right i think that's all we need all right so on this uh, particular grill that we took off is damaged here and right here so we're going to go ahead and replace that it's pretty easy so first we're going to take the emblem off
gonna get him a new set of two. the emblem off by pushing this pushing up on this the emblem comes right off so on this one the customer didn't want to get a new one so we're just gonna go ahead and yeah, this one we're gonna get him a new one but since he needs a car we're gonna go ahead and uh put it in put it in the best way we can. So I'm gonna double stick tape this part. Check with these. Plug this one in first. Sometimes it's hard to identify when you're upside down. No one right there. back together. Remember the, the bumper goes up to meet the headline. Remember the bracket? 
bracket right here. You have to put this bumper over it so it's not gonna line up properly. Right here, we forgot the screw right behind here. So remember, there's, a, there's, there's another screw right behind you or this thing's gonna start popping out. But for the most part, it's all lined up. So everything's all lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and start bolting everything together. So we got all the bolts in. Tighten it up. So we are gonna get this uh, guy another push pin right here and a push pin right here. In the morning, that in. Then, after, before you start finishing up the job, make sure everything lines up. Keep it gaps. So I'll line the perfectly fine. Find a few extra screws, I mean push pins for another car. So we just use it for this one. There you go. This side, we've already went in and screwed it on. And underneath the car, we go. So we're gonna push this in. There you go. Got one screw in here, right here.
piece of the puzzle. Now it's over. It's complete. Finish. All right, guys, so that concludes our installation of a 2014 Lexus IS350 for bumper. If you guys need any pre-made auto body parts, go ahead and visit our website at www.redmoto.com. The link will be down below. If you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe to us and go ahead and turn on that push notification to get more videos from us. Thank you, guys.